here. I need to plug in my phone to charge so it doesn't die while we're doing this. Let's see. Trying to get this right because YouTube makes it really hard to view your video to see where you're at before you go live. So hello everyone. Let's see. I'm just gonna take a second, compose myself, trying to figure out how to do a live video once again. I'm sipping on some water. And we are gonna cook dinner because I'm bored. And so I'm gonna chat with y'all while I cook dinner tonight. Let's see. Hello, hello. Oh my golly. We're gonna have to, hey, it's, hey Cooper. Cooper, Cooper, Cooper. Hey Cooper. Hey Cooper, it's no good. It's all good in the hood, all good. We're gonna cook some dinner here in just a second. I think we're good, I think this is a decent angle for right now, we'll probably have to change it. sausages. So basically we are going to fry up some sausages, then we are going to top it with some sauteed veggies, top it with some cheese, top it with some banana peppers, bake it in the oven, and it should be good. I've never tried it, so I'm bringing y'all along with me today while I'm doing so. All right, y'all. Y'all are from all over the place. Oregon, Canada, Idaho, Australia, Washington. Y'all are from all over the place. Alright, first thing we're starting with is I have some veggies to chop up. So I have a green bell pepper and a red bell pepper and a yellow onion. And I'm gonna dice all of this up and it's gonna go into my skillet. So, let's start with the whole slicing thing. But there's a couple pieces on this bell pepper I need to slice off because I let it sit in the fridge a couple of days too long. We're all good though. Let's see, I think we're good, all right. Yes, low carb state of mind. That is the name of the TikToker. I saw it on her page and I had to try it. So we're on here giving it a try tonight. First things first is dicing up the bell pepper. I'm gonna start with the green one. I am not very good at dicing. So. Los Angeles, Atlanta, Georgia, Kentucky, Illinois, New York, Maui, Jamaica, Connecticut. That's crazy. Everyone is from all over the place. I've got to concentrate while I'm working with the knife. I don't want to hurt myself. That'd be great. Cutting my finger off on live video. Let's not have that happen. Oh, you know what I almost 
almost forgot, since it's Christmas time in my house, because I've decided it's Christmas, I've got the tree up, we're going to light this gingerbread wishes candle. It smells delicious. I got it at Kroger. It was like $7, and y'all, it smells so darn good. <sighs> Love it. If you have a Kroger, check them out because they're on sale right now. And I kind of want to go back to Kroger and grab another one because I already burned through half this candle in a couple of days. So we're going to put this for some ambiance. Have it back here just to burn in. Give us some smell good up in here. Am I doing Vlogmas this year? I am planning on it. I want to do a vlog every day of December. Have I started planning it? No, I have not. I'm just going to wing it, maybe. I need some ideas. Is there anything y'all want to see me do during Vlogmas? I kind of want to do like a little Texas road trip for a couple of days, but that is very much in the air and just an idea in my noggin. All right, dicing up this bell pepper. Once I am done with this, I'll actually be able to focus. <laughs> So if you're just tuning in, we are making loaded sausages. And I saw this on TikTok actually, and I wanted to try it. So I picked up the ingredients a couple of days ago, and I was going to make it on my griddle, but it gets dark at like five o'clock, and I didn't want to go outside and cook in the dark. So we are just going to make it on the skillet tonight. Thank you so much, Matthew. That is so kind. When am I going back out fishing again? Well, Cody is out of town for a couple of days, and we're not going to go fishing until he gets back in town here soon. But I miss fishing. I debated taking the boat out with, like, my parents, but... I can drive the boat. I just don't like to drive the boat. So we're just, I'm just staying here and getting some work done that I've needed to get done. All right. Green bell pepper is diced. Next up is the red bell pepper. I wish you'd watch videos on how to use knives. I know how to use knives. Am I great with implementing the knowledge I know? No. So that's my issue. I mean, in college, when I studied meat science, I literally had to carry a like sheath of knives to class. So there was me just wandering around campus with freaking knives in my hand while we learned how to butcher meat super fun but i also need to get some better knives these knives are just not sharp i even bought a little electric sharpener but they're just pretty terrible quality knives so it is what it is am i still doing keto so i kind of addressed this in my last video I am not doing strict keto by, right now by any means. I'm doing more of a low-carb diet. So I'm eating approximately like 50 to 70 or 80 grams of carbs a day. Um, and my body is responding really, really well to it. It's just, I've done keto for a long time and I just needed to change something up. Will I go back to keto? Probably. But for the next couple of months or so, I'm trying something different to see how my body responds to it. I've lost some weight. Um, I'm feeling better. I don't feel the need to binge eat because when I do strict keto, 
I don't do that. I or how would I say it? I get into the mindset where I want to like eat all these carbs, and I just like can only think about these foods that I'm restrict that I am restricting myself from, and that in turn leads to me wanting to binge eat, like wanting to buy an entire pizza and eat the whole thing, which is terrible. That is horrible. And so eating now where I can kind of have those foods in a sense that I felt like I was depriving myself of, even though I'm not depriving myself, you don't need carbs, but it's just given me a much healthier relationship with food. I don't feel the need to eat as much. Um, so yeah, I've just kind of been intermittent fasting and um, eating about two meals a day. And so what if I eat like a sandwich? My favorite bread right now is this Dave's Killer Thin Sliced Bread. I'm obsessed with it. And um, it just puts me, I'm, I'm happy. I don't crave a sandwich because I ate kind of a lower carb version of a sandwich and it is delicious. And so yeah, not doing strict keto. I'm happy and that's what matters. At the end of the day, being happy and in a good mental space trumps everything else. Sorry for that long-winded answer. Big win. Thank you so much. Enjoy your pizza. I honestly debated ordering myself a thin crust pizza tonight. I'm not going to lie because I'm the only one eating. But I bought this stuff at the grocery store the other day and I don't want it to go bad. So I figured I'd hop on here and chat because I'm bored and don't know what else to do with my night. So we're chit-chatting, cooking, having a good old time. How long does this take to cook? So if you're not talking, you could probably cook this in under 30 minutes. But me being who I am, standing here chatting while I do this, it's probably going to take me closer to an hour or so because I'm, I'm talking. <laughs> How about a Christmas story time vlog? Ooh, that's a good idea. Cody is actually working with his brother right now in Alabama. I'm going to be flying over there in a couple of days and joining him, but I really got behind on some stuff and I decided that I needed to keep my little butt here and be productive, get some stuff done, and just kind of simmer my plate down a little bit because I've had a lot going on. I've been traveling and there's just some stuff that I needed to do work-wise. So I'm here and it's kind of weird being here alone, but I'm enjoying it actually. I'm talking to y'all. When am I putting up my tree? I put up my Christmas tree a couple of days ago. It's just 2020 has been a year. It has just been not the best year. I think just about everyone could agree with that. So I decided I was putting up my tree, took it down out of the attic, I decorated, I'm playing Christmas music, I got my Christmas candles burning behind me. It just makes me happy. So Christmas is up in my house because I wanted it to be. Up next I have a onion. I'm going to dice this up as well. Trying to hurry up and get done with the dicing because this is like the most boring part. Oh no, hopefully I don't cry while I cut up this onion. I'm sure I will. Wait, do I have sunglasses? Doesn't, don't sunglasses make you not cry? I don't know where these sunglasses came from, but. Suiting up y'all. Hopefully this is right okay going to dice this bad boy up real quick i'll show you the christmas tree here in a few minutes i figure this has to cook in the oven for like 10 to 15 minutes so we can go look at the christmas tree while this cooks
If you put the onion in the fridge for 10 minutes, I had put this onion away in the fridge, so maybe that helps. So it's a cold onion. Put the onion in the freezer. Exactly, yeah. This doesn't come out good. There is a Whataburger not too far from here. I could always go get me a burger. Worst case scenario, or go over to my parents' house and steal whatever they had for dinner, you know? So you can definitely dice this up into some bigger sections than I'm doing, but I like to have my onions and peppers pretty finely diced because I want them to cook down a lot. I don't like crunching into a pepper or an onion. Onion feel like it's taking forever to slice. All right. We're getting close. We're getting close. Do I look really nice with my shades on inside? Love it. I probably look ridiculous right now. I wear my sunglasses at night. I forgot about that song. I am not a singer, obviously. All right, our veggies are diced. Yay. Let me rinse my hands off real quick. All right, I guess I can remove my sunglasses now. Glad these cost like $2. All right. So in my skillet, I've got my diced red pepper, my diced green pepper, and my diced onion. Now I'm going to come over here to the fridge, get out some butter, and throw me a couple of tablespoons in here. Let that melt. <laughs> This burner, for some reason, this one hates lighting. Whew, there we go. Just for some reason, this one burner on the stove, it just, it just doesn't like to light. All three of the others, or the three others, light super easily. But this big one, it's always a struggle to get it lit. starting to get a little chilly in the house. I have been refusing to turn on the heater in here because um, it's gas and I'm concerned that I don't know if there's a carbon monoxide meter in this house and I think that you can get carbon monoxide poisoning from a heater. I think so. So I have not done my research and bought a carbon monoxide meter but yeah. So I haven't turned on the heater this year. Uh, it was 63 degrees in our house yesterday morning. A little bit chilly. All right, so I have these veggies, they're on. Yeah, Bo, it's, the dogs are walking under my feet. They're all somewhere under here. These veggies are starting to heat up. Got that going. It's gonna take a couple minutes to saute them down. Want that butter to melt. Let's see. Yeah, my hair is very long right now. I can see it in this video. It I cut off like some of it a couple of I guess months ago now. And I feel like it's gotten longer. I love my hair, but some days I want to chop it off because I curled it today to take some pictures, but I already know that it's going to be like a rat's nest under here. I don't know why it does it. I just curl my hair and my hair decides that it's just going to tangle up in itself and it is the worst. All right. If 
you don't have these silicone spatulas, get on Amazon and buy yourself some of them. I think they're like probably 15 to 20 bucks on Amazon, but they are the best because they can withstand like 500 degree heat. And I always have a habit of leaving my spatulas on the pan like this so they don't melt, which is great. What's next? So we're gonna let these saute down, set them aside, and then we're going to sear my sausages, and we'll place them on a baking sheet, cover it, cover the sausages with the veggies, some cheese, and some peppers. So that is the plan of action. So what I'm going to do while these cook I'm going to come over here, grab my cutting board again. I am going to be using these sweet Italian sausages. You can use bratwurst as well. But, we're going to open these up. And I am going to slice these in half and basically butterfly them open. So I don't really know the best way to do this, but... Just going to slice it, trying not to slice all the way through. And just open it up like this so that I can kind of just set it into the skillet and let it cook. I'm going to do that with all of my sausages. There's Bo. I think you can see him drinking water right there behind me. There's his booty right there. Drinking himself some water. Trying to do this fast so I can stir up my veggies. <laughs> Bo is my favorite. Bo is always going to be my favorite. He was my number one boy from the beginning. I love my little Bo Bo. I wish dogs could live forever, don't y'all? Because he's going to be eight in January and that just breaks my heart. I don't want my dogs to get old. Hold on, I've got to check my phone, which is over here. What I'm using to record the live video. Hold on. There's Cooper drinking water now. Alright, I'm back. I saw your text, Mom. It's kind of too late. We'll see. Me and my mom are hopefully going to do a cooking video, maybe tomorrow or something. We were talking about cooking something. Alright, 
so this the veggies are starting to get cooked. I'm going to come over to my pantry. I cook on electric. No, I am cooking on gas, but I don't like to have it super high because I don't want it to burn without like kind of caramelizing the veggies. So I cook them kind of slower. I'm sorry my cooking is not fast enough. I'm also talking, so that doesn't help. Since you're just joining, we are making loaded sausages for dinner. So sausages, veggies, cheese, peppers. Easy. <laughs> All right, so these are actually just about ready. Here's a little, ooh, okay. That's really hot. Hold on, hold that thought. Any new foods or recipes I want to try? I have a ton of recipes I want to try. Some that are not totally keto friendly, that are a little bit higher in carbs, but still would be considered healthier or low in carbs. And I'm really excited to share some of those recipes with y'all. I've been kind of brainstorming coming up with some new content because I'm trying to figure out what y'all want and what you like and as well as like what I like to create because the stuff that I love and that I put my heart and soul into, that's what I'm always going to be the most proud of at the end of the day. So yeah, 
I'm really excited to share some new food, oh, that's hot, some new food creations with y'all. All right, so these are done. I'm gonna turn this off. Let these cool down for just a second because I'm gonna transfer them to a, somewhere else and then cook the sausages in there so I'm gonna dirty up another skillet. Can you order this jacket? Yeah, it's M-O-N-S-T-A Fishing. So it's a fishing shirt. Monster Fishing. It's a guy who's down in Galveston. He owns a fishing apparel company. So I was excited to support somebody local. Have I tried Heavenly Keto Fries yet? I have not heard of that. So let's see. right here I am going to put my veggies into the bowl and we'll come back and get those in a few minutes after we cook our sausages oh golly this is heavy vision like like fishing <laughs> I know this pan is so big favorite music to listen to well the thing is with YouTube any music I put on basically copyright strikes my video and I cannot make any money off of that so when I'm not film or when I'm filming, I don't have any music playing ever. But if I'm not filming, I have Christmas music on because I am obsessed with Christmas music right now. But I'm like a weird person and um, I don't listen to music. Like a lot of the times, like when I'm in the car, I sit in silence. I know I'm, I'm very weird. It's a very well known fact. I'm kind of an interesting person. So, yeah, I'm not huge into music. I know it's weird. I know. I know it may look like my hair is really close to the fire. It's not, it's not that close. All right, so my pan is hot. I am going to take my sausages I sliced in half. And we're basically just going to sear them on both sides. So I'm going to throw these in here. Throw this over here. Let me wash my hands real quick. And we just want some color on both sides of these sausages. So I have a baking sheet that I put some non-stick foil on so that the cheese doesn't stick to the foil because the crispy bits of the cheese that bake in the oven are the best. You can't change my mind. So I don't know what happened to my tongs. Oh, here they are. I should tie my hair back, but I'm currently, I don't know where I, actually, I will go grab a hairband to make y'all happy. Hold on. I'm back. I went into my 
their office and got me a scrunchie. It's pink. I ordered 60 of these on Amazon and they are my favorite thing in the world. I have never deep fried a turkey. I really want to try a turkey on my pellet grill, uh, but I haven't done that yet. I'm going to flip these sausages. See? Look at that pretty color. That's what we're looking for. They don't have to be cooked all the way. We just want some color. Let's see, does my hair look okay since I threw it back? I can't see. All right. What do I use to curl my hair? I'll show you because I really don't know. All right. I'm all over the place right now, but this is what I use to curl my hair. I've owned this thing for, I think, like six or seven years now. It's still holding on strong. I'm now jinxed it. I'm sure it's going to die now. But it's by Hot Shot Tools. I think you can get this at Target, maybe Walmart. Um, I think I got mine at Sally's Beauty. And yeah, it works great. I think it's an inch and a half to either an inch or half an inch tapered barrel. And it's my favorite. It's what I've used forever. I swear by it. It gets these pretty curls. So yeah, that's what I used to curl my hair. This is sweet Italian sausage that I'm using for this recipe. The girl that I saw this recipe from, she uses bratwurst sometimes. So basically any link sausage will work. Yeah, hit the like button if you're watching, thank you. Yeah, these skillets, it's by the brand Circulon. I think my dad and me picked these up at Costco. And y'all, these are the best skillets. Like, they're non-stick. So basically anything you cook on them doesn't stick. And it is truly the best. Whenever I cook on like a non, non-stick skillet, everything sticks. And I get so frustrated because I just never think about it. Because all I use is this nonstick stuff. And it's great. I honestly couldn't recommend it more. This brand, Circulon. My, I have a set. My parents have a set. And we have nothing but good things to say about it. What brand was my curler? It's Hot Shot Tools. I'll show it in case you can't hear me because of the skillet. Right here. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it. I can't tell. Hot shot tools. Alright, my sausages are getting there. They are getting nice and colorful, I guess you could say. I've decided that I want them mostly cooked before I throw them in the oven. Cooper's now in the backyard barking. Oh, the skillet brand, Circulon. Here, I'll show you a non-hot skillet. What the brand is, hold on, right here. Oh golly, I don't know if I can show you all this here. Circulon, can you see it, can you see it? I'm trying. Circulon, I think that's how you say it, I don't know. Seriously, I think it's a little bit of an investment. We maybe paid $3.50 for like the 13-piece set with the lids. So in my opinion, it's not that bad. I've used these for the past three years now. Phenomenal. Love them. All right. Sausages are almost done. I haven't seen those zero carb noodles at Costco in a long time. But then again, I also don't have a Costco membership anymore. 
because the nearest Costco is like 45 minutes away. And I just wait until my dad goes to Costco and then I use his membership and purchase whatever I want from Costco. Landon, I will look up that cookbook. It sounds like something um, I want to check out. Man, it's like some of the sausage just does not want to cook all the way through. Should I go ahead and stick it in the oven? Do you think 15 minutes in the oven will finish cooking the sausage? Let me know. I never put sausage in the oven, so I don't know how long to cook it for. Mm, 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 mm. Come on, sausage. Come on, sausage. I'm ready to get this in the oven. I'm not going to lie. All right. Y'all are saying throw it in the oven. All right. Turn this bad boy off. I'm going to grab my, my sausages and throw them onto my pan like so. I think these are mostly cooked now. There's a little bit of pink still on them, but they should finish cooking in the oven. As y'all said. Alright, set so there, let that cool off, and now you can probably hear me better. I'm going to take my veggies that we sauteed, and I'm just going to pour those over the top of the sausages. So, this might be a little bit too many veggies in my opinion, but I'm just going to throw them all on there. What the heck? Alright. So, up next, I'm going to come over here to the refrigerator. Don't panic. Okay, it's back, it's back. Is it back, yes? Yes or no? Okay, I don't know what happened there. Let me check my phone and make sure everything's okay on this end. All right. All right, crisis averted. I don't know what to do because if that comes, if it goes away, I, we're just SOL at that point. Okay, so I need to get this going in the oven. I'm going to add just a little bit more cheese because why not? More cheese, more cheese, more cheese. You only missed the most important step, I know, right? Okay, technical difficulties, I guess. I think the last live video I did here in the kitchen, the power went out, so it's always something. Yesterday, the power went out for a couple of hours here. Okay, I think I need to stop adding cheese. All right. And the last step, I saw this girl do it, so I'm going to do it too. She adds the banana peppers on top of this. She added the hot banana peppers. My grocery store did not have any hot banana peppers. So I got the mild. We're going to add a couple of these on top. And then this bad boy is ready to go in the oven. All right. I'm just going to 
going to, oh, I spilled that everywhere. Oops. Going to just put a couple of these on top for some extra flavor. All right. Some banana peppers going on here. I wish I had the hot ones. That would give it some extra spice, but we only have the mild ones. Oh, well. It is what it is. Oh, you probably lost the sound because Cody tried to call me, is what he's saying. Hey, Cody. I'm okay. All is well. I have my phone on do not disturb, so that's why my phone isn't going through. Just saying. Sorry, babe. All is well in the world, but I'm using my phone to film this live video on, so I made it where people can't call me while I do this. All right. Couple more peppers, and this is ready to go in the oven. I think we're going to call this good. Maybe a couple more. Okay. We're good. We're good. Let's get this in the oven because it's got to cook and I'm going to entertain y'all for a couple minutes while it cooks. All right, y'all. So here is our loaded sausages. Got our sausage on the bottom. Got our sauteed veggies. Oh, we got our cheese. Oh, we got our banana peppers. And now we put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes or until everything is cheesy and bubbly. I might hit it with the broil for the last two or three minutes, but it's got to go in here. All right. So now what do we do? Alexa, set a 15 minute timer. 15 minutes. I bet I just yeah. turned on some of y'all's Alexas. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So now we've got 15 minutes to just hang out. What do y'all want to do? I don't know. All right. I guess I can wipe up some of the cheese and veggies into the trash can that I spilled everywhere. Sorry for turning on y'all's Alexa. Okay, I guess I can put some of my stuff up. I'll do the dishes later because I don't feel like doing them tonight. But yeah, this is what we're, we're doing. Sausages are in the oven. Now, we can chit chat. Oh, do y'all want to see the tree? Y'all, my house is a mess right now. Should I hide the camera until we get over to the tree? Like, tomorrow's project was to clean the house. It's a little messy right now. Because I was sorting stuff to make the house less messy. But I made the house more messy by trying to sort stuff to make the house less messy. Is that how it always works? I think it is. No one cares. Oh, golly, y'all. I don't want to be embarrassed. It's really not that much. I just have some clothes and a blanket on the table, but I don't like it. I don't want to be, I don't want to be trashy. Hold on, hold on. We'll come over here. Oh, golly. Hold on. Let's do this. Hi, guys. We're... <laughs> Um, it's no one here. Cooper, say hello, Cooper. Come and say hello to the people. Say hello. I've been so loud tonight. Come here. Come say hello. Are you going to go eat some kibbles? Okay. Goodbye, Cooper. Bo, do you want to say hello? Everyone's been wondering about you. Want to say hello? No, they're going to fight over the food instead because there's a food bowl right here. <laughs> Look at him. Look at the way Bo's looking at Cooper. Look at him. <laughs> oh, golly. All right, let's come over here and look at the tree. This way you can avoid my messy table behind me. Whew. All right, here's the tree. Here's the tree. Ready? Ready for this? Ready for this? You're not ready. Oh, look at the beautiful tree. <laughs> I love this tree. I bought this tree last year. Oh, look at you. You're just so cute. You're just so cute. But... We bought this tree last year. I think at Lowe's, I made maybe paid like, I don't know, 150 bucks or something. It's a fake tree. 
But I think she looks pretty good. Look at her. Look at her. She's cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Too funny. But there's the Christmas tree. And here's my little decorated Christmas couch, except the blanket and pillows are all over the place because there's certain Cocker Spaniels that really like to um, lay on my pillows. So they're a little smushy. Where's the tree topper? Uh, I don't have one. This is a seven and a half foot tree and I think our ceilings are right at about seven and a half feet. So we don't have anything that can go on top, but someone messaged me today and said, put a Santa hat on top. So maybe I can fit a little Santa hat up top because we have very minimal space between the top of the ceiling and the top of the tree. Oh yeah, a bow. I also thought about doing a bow, but I just haven't gone out in public and bought a bow because I went to Hobby Lobby the other day and y'all, there's so many people at Hobby Lobby. I just, too many people. I don't like it. Cat, thank you so much. I need a drywall saw. Yeah, this, these houses are all, uh, all the walls in this house, this house was built in the 1940s. Uh, they're made out of, was it plaster? So you can't, you can't drill into him. You can't drill into them. So I hate that because the only couple of holes we have in our wall are where the owner who we're running from, she had gotten some screws in the wall and it's a pain in the butt to, uh, to get it in there. It's like drilling into concrete. So yeah. There's that. Speaking of that empty nail, I took this down earlier. So I need to hang this painting back up. Interior decorating with Catherine. Hang up your cow painting. Isn't she cute? I love her so much. And it's very crooked. Let's see, come over here. Let's see if it's straight. Let's see if it's straight, hold on. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's relatively straight. What is it, Cooper? What is it? You're just the cutest. Did I figure out my mantle? No, I still haven't fixed it yet. Look at Bobo. You're so cute. And right now, it's a little bit of a disaster in here. I was taking pictures and recording videos. So I have my tripod. I have my phone tripod right here. This is a glute exercise machine that I got that is kind of cool. And I haven't put it away yet. So it's just laying in the middle of the living room. I know, it's a little messy. Just just bear with me. Then we have our weights right here and a grill because I don't have anywhere to put this grill in. Cooper was playing with this can earlier. I guess it needs to come into the kitchen. Where is my coffee table from? One of my mom's friends actually was cleaning out their storage unit and that is how I acquired this table right here and the matching end table right there. I think that's what that's called. I'm not an interior decorator at all, but I like it. It, it matches the space good and it, you can't beat free. So it was super nice of her friend to do that for us. Our table is also from her. It definitely needs some work. I have told y'all for like a month and a half that we're gonna paint it but it is just getting cool enough and the humidity is just getting low enough where we can paint it. Truly, because the humidity has been so high, it just won't dry correctly, so we've been putting that one off. Whew. Also, yeah, I meant to mention, I do have a grill on our floor. I don't have anywhere to put it right now. I wish we had a garage, but we only have a carport. I don't want to leave stuff like that under our carport. So it is what it is. Just have unconventional storage in here. Bear with me. I'm not perfect. I'm not one of those people you see on the internet that have perfect houses, perfectly organized, beautiful. That is not me. Have I thought about buying a KitchenAid mixer? I'd love to buy a KitchenAid mixer, to be honest, but they're like three or $400. There was a couple of weeks ago that Walmart was selling them where some Walmart, you could get one for like $68, like unbelievable deals. But 
every Walmart near me that had any of the deals, they were selling them for $169, they were selling them for like $109, and then like $69 at some stores. It was crazy, it was some coupon Instagram I follow, but I could not find any of those deals, so I haven't bought one yet. I'm determined to find one on good sale, and then I'll buy it. Oh, my arm is getting tired from holding this. Hold on, I'm gonna lean y'all up against my uh, bottle of isopropyl alcohol. All right. What about a shed? We do have a shed, but our shed is also full of stuff. So there's that. Because she, well, the shed doesn't all have all of our stuff in it. She left the shed full of her stuff, which is totally fine. I don't care. Um, but we have a couple of stuff stuck out there. And I could probably fit the grill out there, but I just haven't done that yet. Thing is, there's a bunch of wasps in there. I think I showed that to y'all in one of my videos. There was like huge colonies of wasps. And so um, I was too scared to go out there. <laughs> but they're gone now. I went out there the other day and all of the wasp nests are empty. Now I'm getting hot. I guess I'm walking around. My upper lip is sweaty. Hoops. How have I been? I've been great. Just been doing some stuff, getting some work done over here. Being a happy gal. Order online whenever there's a good sale. So the thing is like, there's this thing called Brick Seek and you can kind of figure out when your stores are offering um, some of these better deals on things like TVs and whatever. It's kind of like a scavenger hunt to find those items. So yeah. It's kind of like you just get really lucky if you find them. I don't know. I'm not really into couponing, but I do follow some Instagram accounts because I think it's really cool when people get really good deals. But I'm normally too lazy to find them. Your attic was infested with wasps. It is the worst. So awful. I hate wasps so much. Who I have on like really big lashes. I just, I decided to do like a darker eye today and to like kind of hide my poorly done makeup. I put on these like big eyelashes. Can't decide if I like them or not. I just didn't want to take them off after I put them on. So, why didn't I think of this? I can put y'all. Oh no, oh no, oh no. And put y'all on my tripod. Sorry, I'm trying to screw y'all down, so. There we go. But I can chat for a minute. Hold on, I'm gonna go walk over to Alexa so I don't set off all y'all, it's Alexis, hold on. Alexa, how much time is left? Three minutes and 50 seconds left. Three minutes and 50 seconds left! Yeah. All right, let me check on them. Ooh, they're looking good, looking good. Let me check the comments over here. Target has kitchen mixers for $80 off. I'll have to look into that. What cheeses do you eat while on keto? Pretty much every cheese is keto friendly. I mean, I can't really think of many cheeses that aren't keto friendly, so eat cheese to your heart's desire. Could I do a video on my favorite things? I've thought about doing a, uh, like an Amazon favorites because everything I buy is off Amazon, but I just haven't gotten around to filming it yet. Because I usually share the things I love, like just on my normal vlogs. Do I have any kind of favorite workout? Um, I like cardio and HIIT, and I really like weightlifting, but I have not been to the gym since February, maybe, ever since COVID and Corona happened, or COVID or Corona, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I haven't been to the gym. I have an elliptical out in my 
carport. And so I'll get on that. Um, me and my parents and my brother, we went on a like 2.3 mile walk this afternoon. And I've just been doing a lot of like outdoor workout stuff, which is nice. I enjoy it. I love being outside. It's my favorite. So I do want to get back to the gym, but for now it's not that big of a deal. I have some weights. I have a cardio machine and I think it's more important to just kind of stay safe and stay home when we can. I just feel like the gym is very much a germy place. So I've just been kind of avoiding it. Um, am I doing a Christmas? Am I doing Vlogmas? I am doing Vlogmas, hopefully a video a day in December. I need to start coming up with some fun plans of what to do. I mentioned maybe a like Texas Christmas road trip, but I've got to put thought into that. So we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Um, how long does it take me to adjust to getting back into cardio? Well, the hardest part for me is just getting off of my lazy butt and doing cardio. If I get up and do it, I can, I can do cardio but I hate it. I hate every second of it, but um, the hardest part for me is just telling myself I'm going to get up and exercise. I think that's the hardest part for everyone. Like once I get up and like start doing it, I'm so proud of myself. It feels good to work out, but the part, the hardest part is getting my butt off the couch and getting up and doing it. Where do my parents live? My parents live like three minutes away from me. <sighs> where am I going fishing next? We fish mostly here in the Baytown area. Um, that's just our home waters. The water is not the cleanest by any means. A uh, lot of signs to not eat the fish in this area, which we really don't do. Um, but yeah, I enjoy fishing anyways. Hopefully next year we are going to start up a fishing charter and be able to take some people out fishing with us become a captain that's a goal oh alexa's done alexa stop uh but we'll see what happens with that i want to be 100 percent certain we could put fish in the boat every time we fish so um fishing charter is um coming but i want to make sure that i can provide a great service all right Let's check on these sausages real quick. Um, I'm gonna give them like two more minutes. Alexa set a two minute timer. Look at this little dog right here. Look at him, hold on. Look at this dude. Look at him. He's pulled out like so many toys. Look at him. Look at that. I love when he lays on his back and his little nub just wags like that. <laughs> Look at this little dude. Look at him. You're so cute. But yeah, he's pulled out all of his toys. <laughs> Are you spoiled rotten? Are you spoiled rotten, Cooper? Are you spoiled rotten? Look at all the toys all over the ground. There's just toys everywhere. You're just having a good old time tonight, aren't you? Oh my gosh, you're the funniest. Yeah, you need some loving. There you go. There you go. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Hey, we love you too, Bobo. You just don't want to play. Oh, crazy boys. All right, back to what I was saying. Let's go check on the sausages. Look at my little Christmas towels. I kind of messed them up, but... They got snowmen on them. I got them at, I think, uh, what's it called? Marshalls. Let's see. Ooh, look at those. Ooh. We're going to let them cook for just another minute or two. And then I'm going to turn them on broil, let the cheese kind of get brown. And then they'll be ready to try. Yay. Let me come over here. Do I have any sunless tanning products to recommend? Let's see, hold on, what do I use? Hopefully I don't lose service in here. What do I use? Oh, I really like 
loving tan. I'm probably gonna tan myself soon because I am turning pale because I'm Cuban. Why don't I have a tan anymore? Why does my tan not stay? Dad, I have a bone to pick with you. <laughs> Alexa, stop. All right, so sausages. Here we go. They're looking good. I think what I'm going to do is turn this off. I am going to turn this to broil. Sorry, this is gross. I got oil or that sausage popped everywhere. So yeah, we're gonna let that do its thing for like two minutes. You don't wanna broil too long. Hey, there's me. Oh golly, oh gosh, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, no, I fell. Ugh. All right, guess we're, we're just gonna be on the floor now. Wait for our sausages to be done. Sitting in front of the dishwasher. Then I need to run when I finish with this. Will I remember? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Of course I fell in front of the reflection of the oven. Whatever. <sighs> Bo, I know how you feel. Look at him. Just sitting there judging me. Just judging me. Cooper brought me his ball. He loves the blue ball. Loves the blue ball. Oh crap, I forgot I wasn't watching. This gas oven, like normally, like whenever I've had broil or whenever I broil in like all my electric ovens before this, um, the broil takes kind of a couple of minutes to do its thing. But this literally shoots out fire and it'll cook your food or broil it so fast. So you have to be super care careful. Let's see here. Let's see. Can we see it? Look, see the fire shooting out? It does its thing real fast. Oh, they're looking so good. Have I ever had aged Swiss? I've seen you ask that like six times. I think I have. Um, sure. How long does the tan last? Um, maybe five days to a week. Um, I haven't self-tanned in like eight months, so I don't remember. <laughs> but it's about that time of the year I'm getting pale again. Like my tan just went away so fast. Oh crap, I forgot about this again. We're getting real close, real close. Let me put y'all right here because I'm gonna need to grab this in just a second. I love wine and a cheese board. Even though I hate wine, I'll like sit there and like gag while we make a cheese board but it's good wine and cheese go together really well but i have to have like two glasses of wine and then i enjoy it because i'm basically drunk then because i don't drink but maybe once a month cody and i will basically do a cheese board and i'll drink wine that's my drinking <laughs> i'm just not a fan of alcohol never have been Ooh, okay this is done Oh, it's done, it's done, it's done. Ready for this? Pull it out. Ooh, look at these loaded sausages, y'all. Look at them. Ooh, they're looking so nice. I assume the sausage is cooked. Let's grab a meat thermometer. Love this thing, it's the best. I got it off Amazon. Um, I guess I'll stick the sausages, make sure they're cooked. They should be, I assume now. All right, they're all reading. It's hard to figure out where the sausages are. It's piled so much stuff on top of them. Let's see. Yeah, they're all reading. I just touched that to my hair. Oh no, okay, I think we're good. But I think the sausages are done. Loaded sausages is what we're making, y'all. Loaded sausages. Clean off the meat probe. Honestly, 
if you grill, if you cook, and you don't own a meat thermometer, pay the 10 bucks and get yourself a meat thermometer. These are the best. Ooh, you made your, those stuffed peppers. I know exactly which stuffed peppers you're talking about. The ones with, what is it? Rotel, cream cheese, and sausage in them. So good, so darn good. Yeah, get yourself a meat thermometer. Literally, get one. <laughs> You can cook your steak to the perfect doneness. You can know your burgers are cooked. You're not eating undercooked ground beef. That's a story for another day. People who order their burgers rare. I want to poke you with the end of this stick. Don't do it. It's full of bacteria. Don't do it. I took too many microbiology classes. All right. Here. I'm letting this cool off for a second, chatting for another minute, and then we're gonna dig in and give it a try. Ooh, yeah, I have one probe for my pellet grill that I can plug into my meat thermometer, but I've been debating on getting like a separate unit that you can plug in a couple of different things of meat, but I just haven't had a cook big enough where I need multiple different meat thermometers. Eat hamburger meat raw? Oh my golly! No. I've seen people do it too before. Oh, it makes my heart hurt. More power to you though. Why are you watching me? I don't know. A hundred more thumbs up needed. Thanks, Carrie. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. Give her a big thumbs up, Aroni. Oh, I'll dance for a thumbs up. Mm -mm. Oh, even do a high kick. <sighs> okay, I have too much energy. Oh, I think you need to go. People are crazy. All right, so let me show you the sausages. And then I'll set y'all up and we'll try them together. Cooper, are you being a mountain goat? Look, this is Cooper being a mountain goat. He likes to stand on the edge of the couch and mountain goat it. Yes. Speaking of, I just know I mentioned that I don't drink alcohol and I have like a hundred things of wine over there. Uh, yeah, Cody used to work in wine sales, so we have a ton of wine. I've also collaborated with 14 Hands Wine and they sent me ungodly amounts of wine. Their wine is good. I enjoy it. But I'm not going to drink 60 cans of canned wine. So, Christmas present ideas. Yes, me and my mom are going to do some cooking videos real soon. But y'all, here we go. Look at the sausages. Don't they look good? They look really good. Ooh la la. Yum. And I also threw some veggies when I was cooking them. Oops. But y'all, these look really good. We're about to dig in and give it a taste test. All right. Yeah, here, I'll show you the canned wine. I didn't really know canned wine was a thing. But yeah, there's unicorn rosé bubbles. There is normal bubbles. Got some rosé. Got some... Smooth red blend. I got it all. So party at my house. Just kidding. But yeah, I need to give that some of that away. But I guess it's more so like people going to the beach or going to party canned wine so it doesn't break or shatter. I mean, it's a smart, smart move. But yeah, that's why we have so much wine. All right, so let me get y'all set back up. I guess I'm just going to put y'all right here and not flip y'all around. All right. Putting y'all on my tripod, sorry. All right. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. It is taste test time. Let me get myself together. What do I want? I guess I'm going to do a plate right here. My beautiful, like, southwestern plates. I love these things so much. 
and I need a spatula. Spatula. We can do a little video right here, right here. Oh, there we go. Let's grab one of these on the end. Actually, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna be super old school since I'm using my phone right now. I wanted to take a picture and I'm gonna use my iPad. I'm gonna be like one of those people. There we go. I need a thumbnail for this video, so I'm taking a picture with my iPad. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. We're good here. We're good. All right. Okay. Let's get us a, a piece of this. Ooh, look at all that crispy cheese. Oh, it's going to be so good. Oh, I almost lost it. There we go. Serving it up. We got our loaded sausages. And now it is time. Bone apple tea. Have you seen that meme? Bone apple tea? Not bone apple tea. Bone, bone appetit. Oh golly, I'm now I've messed myself up. But it is time. Let me adjust the camera. It's time to eat. Can we see? Can we see? Oh, I just stepped on a dog. Oh, trying to fix this so I can see. All right. It is time. It is time. It is time. Where do I? What do I need? I need. I need a fork. A little aggressive, I'm sorry. A little excited. I need a drink to go with this. You get some fresh water. Y'all, I have a Brita in my fridge. And this is the best investment ever. I love it. I always have cold water in my disposal. Like if you haven't gotten a Brita, highly recommend it. They are the best. Cooper, where did you get that from? Look at this dog. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. I'm sorry. I was going to stay on the tripod, but I look over. And this dude, where did you get styrofoam from? Look at him. He's so proud of himself, too. He always does this when he gets something he knows he shouldn't have. He just wags his tail 90 to nothing and then stops chewing like I'm not going to see that in his mouth. Hey, okay, I have to draw the line at styrofoam because you don't need to eat that. Can I have it? Can I have it? <laughs> Cooper, give it to me. Thank you. Where did you get that from? I don't even know. Look at him. He looks like, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, there's a piece of styrofoam on your lip. Let me see. Let me see. Did I get it? Did I get it? Okay. All right. Okay. Time to eat. I'm sorry. I had to go retrieve that from my dog. Let me wash my hands. And then it's going to be eating time. Hold on. Wash the hands. I got this holly berry soap at Marshall's, and it smells so good. It smells like... I think cranberries, maybe? So nice. Ooh. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for, it's time to eat. Whew. Mexican street corn salad? That sounds really good. You need to DM me that recipe and we'll try it. Look at the tag wall with the face. What are you talking about? All right. Let's see. I have a piece of hair on my arm from my head. I should probably get a knife, but I'm just going to do this instead. All right. Moment we've all been waiting for. Let's give... Give it a try. Come on. Sausage work with me. 
We got our bite. That's good. That's really good. Ooh, that's really good. Honestly, though, can you go wrong with cheese and sausage and veggies? No. This is going to be the best bite of all, though. It's got that crispy, that crispy cheese on it. Oh, my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. gotta try it it's really good really simple too this would definitely be a great recipe to cook on your griddle It'd be so much easier I just didn't want to go cook in the dark cheese on this thing. Do I have a piece of sausage? I'm going to say this is very filling. This is a really big bite. I got too big of a bite, but we're going to do it anyways. a really big bite. Uh, yeah, I have really enjoyed increasing my carbs. Definitely makes me feel in a better mood. I have more options to eat. I don't feel as restricted. I just have a lot. I don't know. It's just, it's been better for me lately. I went from eating, you know, 20 to 40 or like 20 to 30 net carbs a day to about 50 to 80 total carbs now. So, I mean, I'm still doing low carb in a sense. I'm not eating like 150 grams of carbs a day, but it just, it just making me feel better. I feel like I'm sleeping better. I feel like my mood's better. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm just overall happier. All right. I'm getting stuff everywhere. This is really good, y'all. The banana peppers give it a little extra tang. It's really good. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Thank you for telling me my makeup looks good. I was very questionable about it. Cause I saw this thing on TikTok where this girl did like a reddish color in her eyelids and did a, like a dark purple or almost a black on her eyelids. And I was like, that looks really pretty. And I think it turned out okay. I was a little iffy about it at first, but over the day, it's kind of grown on me. I'm liking it more and more. Yeah. I mean, keto, I mean, I love keto. I there's I have literally nothing bad to say about it. But I have done a lot of research and I do have Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. I have an autoimmune disorder. And a lot of the stuff I've read is you shouldn't be in extremely low carb. But then again, there's also studies that refute that. So, it's I I don't know exactly what I need to do, but I feel good, and that's what matters. Mm 
What is the best fish to cook? I really like redfish. Redfish is a delicious fish. Um, and I actually have a freezer full of redfish. I want to do some fish cook videos soon. Do y'all want to see the different ways you can cook fish? Does that interest y'all? I want to do some fish videos because I have a ton of fish that we've caught. I have a ton of it in the freezer. I've got red snapper. I've got grouper. I've got trout. I've got redfish. I've got sheep's head. I've got literally everything. I've got a lot of fish. I have way too much fish, to be honest, because we went offshore fishing and we got like 50 pounds of fish. Way too much fish. So I need to cook some of it. I just haven't cooked it lately because I've been lazy and I forget to thaw it. So we're gonna do some fish videos soon because there's all kinds of like delicious sauces that you can put on the fish. I have some swordfish that I wanna do that we caught last, or earlier this year. And that swordfish is incredible. I didn't think I'd like swordfish, but it tastes kind of like a soft chicken, like a like almost like a chicken breast, but a little bit softer. And y'all, probably the best fish I've ever eaten. I did a fish taco recipe a couple weeks ago on my channel. It's like super simple fish tacos. You make it with any fish and it was great. I love fish tacos. It's a great like healthier meal. You do fish you, or you grill or blacken some fish. You do some coleslaw, you do some cilantro, some, some sauce. I use the Hellman's drizzle sauce. It's great. Um, but you can use whatever. Just drizzle something on that fish and it's mwah, easy, good, so good. Y'all, this sausage is so good. I need to cut this bite in half. I'm almost done. And I, I'm probably just gonna eat one sausage tonight. These are very filling. They're very filling. I'm kind of surprised at how filling they are. They're good. Definitely recommend trying out these. Yeah, dance between bites and burn calories. That's what I do. <laughs> All right, last bite. mind sharing my weight I mean I've been pretty open and honest for years that my weight fluctuates a lot I have thyroid problems uh, I have hormone problems I have PCOS so basically everything in my body fights against being thin when I was in college I wanted to be a bikini athlete I wanted to get super thin I wanted to compete in a bikini competition I'd still love to but I was working with a trainer. I was eating not a lot of food. I was doing an hour plus workout a day plus 45 minutes to an hour of cardio a day. My body just stopped. Couldn't lose anything. It's just my body uh, hates me. It, it, weight loss has been hard for me. I mean, I'm never gonna be a stick. I'm never gonna be a thin girl. I have a thicker athletic build and that's just how I'm gonna be. And I just have to accept that. I'm still trying to get a little thinner. I'm always trying to get a little thinner, but I mean, I try not to get too hung up on it, even though I do. I struggle a lot mentally with body image and how I look, especially since I guess what I do is kind of a vain world that I live in and I'm putting myself out there to millions of people to see me and criticize me and what I look like. And so, I mean, it's always a struggle. So, I mean, there's that. <laughs> I mean, I've always been pretty open and honest about 
my weight. I've been as high as like maybe 172 or 173 at my absolute highest I've ever been. Um, I think right now I'm sitting at like 153. I am, I have literally been desperately trying to get into the 140s for years now. I don't think I've been in the 140s since maybe like my sophomore, junior year of college. Um, and I want to get into the 140s. I've been trying. I'm at 153. The lowest I've gotten is like 151. And then my body goes, <laughs> no. <laughs> and then I just like, I just like give up because it's very frustrating when you're doing everything right and your body says, <laughs> good luck. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to get there. That's why I've kind of switched up the way I'm eating. I feel like I have a healthier relationship with food. Um, I've been working out on my own terms, whether it's cardio or doing some weightlifting. And I've been kind of avoiding the scale. So, um, yeah. Maybe I'll get there. I'm trying. I've thought about hiring a trainer. But it is what it is. We'll get there one day. Cody's out of town right now. He's in Alabama. I'm going there in a couple days. But yeah, so that's the weight spiel. I mean, like go look at any of my videos. I've been very open and honest. You can see my journey of like being diagnosed with PCOS. I've talked a lot about my thyroid. Uh, I've talked about weight being up and down. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm open about it because you see me, here I am. So yeah, uh, there's that. I mean, like even like I was a gymnast for years and I still have like that gymnast body type. I've got big, thick shoulders. I've got meaty thighs. I love my meaty thighs. Although I hate when they rub together and when I'm walking for a long time. But <laughs> it, I mean, that, that's just the way I'm built. I am me. <laughs> All right. See, I'm fasting. Technically, most days I don't really like drink or eat my first meal until about noon. I just kind of eat when I'm hungry, stop when I'm full. It is a little bit later of a night for me to be eating. I try and be done by like six or seven if I can. Um, and so I track with an app a lot of the time. I haven't done it for the past couple of days because I just kind of forgot. But I try to intermittent fast, but not dwell on it too much. Excuse me. Y'all are saying some really nice, nice things and I really like it. It's really sweet. And I'm not gonna get emotional, because I will. But y'all are really sweet, thank you. You don't have to say the kind words, but I really appreciate it. Just, it is what it is. I deal with a lot of hate. I deal, I get a lot. I mean, when I'm putting myself out there, like on Facebook, I have like 3.3 million people on Facebook. I block a lot of words. And still yet, people come up with really fun, creative ways to call me mean things. Same with Instagram. <laughs> At this point, like, it rolls right off my back. I mean, I have a very incredibly thick skin. But, <laughs> yeah, I'm used to it. I mean, if someone wants to be mean to someone and they want to be mean to me versus like someone in their life, like that's fine. I can take it. I can handle it. That comes with putting yourself anywhere. But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this up soon. I don't want to just ramble on for ages unless y'all just want me to sit here and keep rambling on with 
be my life. So yeah, yeah. I just, I just, you gotta let that stuff roll off your back. You can't, you can't let it affect you, especially me being here on the internet. Cause people are mean, really mean. <laughs> Any wedding plans yet? No. We'll plan a wedding eventually. It's just uh, COVID. Yeah, <laughs> that that's what I have to say about that. It's an interesting year. It's a crazy year. Um, so it'll happen when it happens. I am actually going to Alabama and doing Thanksgiving with Cody's family. Um, so. I'm flying over there next week and going to go see his family. Cody's there working with his brother right now. So I'm going to fly over there. And then since he drove there, I'm just going to ride home with him. So, yeah. That's the Thanksgiving plans. And I know, like, some of my family has COVID right now. And I know they're doing great, which is I'm so thankful for. So I know that my parents, I don't think, are really doing much of Thanksgiving. Just having a chill day with themselves. Our flights super cheap. I think I paid, well, I didn't pay for my flights. I used miles. But to fly into Mobile from Houston, it, they were going to charge me like $285. I think I bought it the plane for like... Um, 15,000 miles, which is about, I mean, equivalent about what you pay. I mean, no, 15,000 miles is about uh, normal for like a plane. So that's what I booked with. So I had some miles on United. So yeah, but there has been some really good flight specials lately. And I've just been very tempted to just like book a flight and go somewhere. I know, like, I mean, I'm very much trying to stay socially distant, but traveling, like going to, you know, somewhere where I can go hiking or go do something outside, like I love that. That's my favorite thing. So it's been really tempting to not just go somewhere. What do I plan on doing long term with my degree? So I have a degree, I have a pre-med degree in animal science. I also have a meat science certificate that I stayed in college to get since I was on the meat judging team in college. Yes, meat judging. I traveled around and competed against other colleges judging cuts of meat. And that's why I ended up getting the meat science degree because um, we traveled, we'd be gone a week at a time or more and missing college classes four weeks out of a semester or more was uh, very difficult. So you'd take these meat science classes because they would excuse your absences because of you're doing something in the meat department. <laughs> so that is how I ended up getting the meat science degree and I could have got out of college like a semester earlier, maybe more. Still not sure why I decided to finish it because I hated college. I hated college so much. I did not enjoy college. I had a terrible experience. I was miserable the whole five years I was there. But I stayed, got my meat science degree. What am I gonna do with it? Probably nothing, to be completely honest, because what you do with a meat science degree, there's not a lot. There's not a lot. You can be like a USDA inspector, but that, that I don't want to stand in a cold cooler and look at carcasses all day. I don't want to do it. There is a, a cool job for like coming up with like creative, um, like creative cooking methods of not creative cooking, but like pre-made meat products to be sold in a company. That was like a job that I saw that I was like, that's kind of cool. But I don't like being in the cold coolers. Whenever we, um, whenever I did meat judging, that my thyroid problem, I get cold so easily. So standing in like, what is it like 35 degrees all day long, 
I was miserable. I'd wear leggings and then ski pants. And then on top, I'd wear like thermal and I'd wear a long sleeve and then I'd wear like a, just like a pullover. And then I'd wear a hoodie and then I'd wear a cooler coat, which was a floor length coat. And I was still cold. I looked like a freaking marshmallow. Like I was miserable <laughs> the entire time. It was miserable. So that makes, that kind of turns me away from doing anything where I'd have to be in a cooler. Because people, they'd wear like a hoodie and like their cooler coat and they'd be okay. And then there is me looking like a marshmallow and I'd have my hard hat on and I'd just be like covered up with coat to here with my hard hat walking around in the beef carcasses. It's not for me. It just wasn't for me. I was cold and miserable. I've, I've got to find one of those pictures of me being a marshmallow. There's like a picture of me having a mental breakdown inside one of the coolers. And you just see me like leaned up against a wall. I have like my, I'm like this wide from like 17 jackets on underneath me. And I'm just like laying against the wall, like crying. Yeah, I was the one that started the mental breakdowns on the meat judging team. I was the first one to have one and then everyone had them. It was great time. Great time. <laughs> What's my favorite Thanksgiving dish? Uh, mac and cheese. I am a mac and cheese lover. Give me all the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese or mashed potatoes. I love the mashed potatoes. All the carbs. Sign me up. Uh, was there any vegans in my class? No, there was some people. I mean in some of the classes we slaughtered animals to be blunt about it. We Started with them walking in and we processed them. I mean, it's a really interesting and eye-opening experience It's very humane the way it's done But there was some people who definitely did not enjoy that part But I mean if you eat meat you need to know where your meat comes from so that was definitely, I mean, I thought it was a neat experience. That's how we eat our meat is they're butchered. So yeah, that took a dark turn. There is a specialty meat market in League City, which is I think like 30 or 45 minutes away from me. And I follow them on Instagram and they have the best stuff. And I want to go check them out because I think it's such a cool thing that people have these little butcher shops and they sell all of these like curated meat products and all of these like pre-made products that you can take home and cook. And I love that. I, that's who I want to support. I want to support those small people, but they're a little bit far away and they're always more expensive, but still, I love that. I can't do that very well. I love mac and cheese. I have a really good mac and cheese recipe. I need to try that one day. It's been a long time since I've made it. I'm trying to think. Y'all have any other questions I can ramble on about? Let's see. All right. Was I a cheerleader? Yes, I was a cheerleader for five years. I did one year of middle school cheerleading and then four years of cheerleading in high school. I was also a gymnast, so basically the reason I did cheerleading was because I could tumble. So there's that. I also, like, I was very, I did a lot as a younger me. How old am I? I am 26. Do I hunt? I do not hunt. I would love to. I would love to take my own deer and clean it and eat it. Um, but I have never hunted. My uncle told me I could go and hunt on his land and he would teach me. But I just have not gotten around to it this year. I'm probably going to take my hunter's education course. And maybe next year we will go and see about getting my first deer. 
I, well, I did dove hunt in Mexico, but that was just an interesting experience. Do y'all remember last year when I went to Mexico at Hacienda Las Palmas in Victoria, Mexico? No, not Victoria. I don't know. It was down in Mexico, and it was a little scary getting there. Not gonna lie, but um, we went dove hunting in Mexico. So this, we were at a resort. Well, it's not a resort. It's a hunting and fishing lodge. And y'all, it was unbelievable, unbelievable place. And they were fleet. It's like free flowing alcohol. There's always someone there with margaritas or shots. And bird hunting was no different. They took us out into this field, middle of Mexico. And they brought us, and they brought us a bunch of guns. They put us up in different corners of the field, and they set up a bar because guns and alcohol go together well. But yeah, it was a really interesting experience. We only shot a few birds. I don't think I even hit one. Uh, but yeah, that's that's my only hunting experience. But I did have dove poppers, fresh made dove poppers, and or actually was it dove poppers? It was some sort of dove, and it was one of the most incredible things I've ever eaten. I would eat dove again. So there's that tangent I just went on. I'm just going on tangents. I'm taking something and running with it like a train. Do I plan on getting any more dogs? Uh, I want one. I want another dog but I don't need another dog at this time. So two is it for now. Just two right now. Do I want another one? Yes, but not right now. There will be another one though, for sure. I love dogs. I would not want to be in Mexico with a bunch of dudes with guns. Well, I was there with a group of girls. We were there on like a sponsored trip promoting this lodge, doing some fishing, doing some hunting. But yeah, my mom, like she was marking my location in Mexico because we went off of the property to go shoot doves. And she was like, Catherine's in the middle of a field in Mexico. She's either dead or she's with the people, thankfully. I was with the people and we were safe, but I did read a lot of horror stories about where we were traveling, how it can definitely be unsafe, but I had an incredible trip and would I go back? Yes, but I really, instead of driving four hours through Mexico, I would rather fly from McAllen, Texas to the airstrip on the property because the property, I felt completely safe, but it's a whole different world down there. And then the whole night before I went to Mexico, I realized that we were driving on the most dangerous road in Mexico. My anxiety was a little high. <laughs> but I had no issues. Never felt unsafe. Um, enjoyed every moment of that trip. So, yeah. Have I tried the Zevia soda? I love the Zevia sodas. They're great. I don't, I try not to drink too many sodas. Um, when I do, I'll maybe get like a Coke Zero, but um, I try to stay away from sodas just because. But the Zevias, um, who else makes those low carb or those zero sugar? So does there's a couple of different brands out there that makes some really good options. What I'm hooked on right now are those sparkling ice waters. I love those. They're so good. But I try and keep these around the house. I have a couple sitting right here. Uh, like these Mio's or these vitamin waters. And I'll just flavor my water with some of these. And that just kind of gives me something different than plain old water and keeps me from wanting to go and drink a bunch of sodas like I'll get a soda every once in a while because I kind of like the fizziness of it but they never really sit well in my stomach so I kind of avoid them I it, I gave up sodas in like seventh grade maybe 
I know I made a bet with a friend to see who could go longer without drinking a soda. And then I never just drank them again. Like, I like diet root beer. Diet root beer, I could get down with some diet root beer. But I've never really been a soda drinker since then, which is great because sodas are not great for you by any means. My candle is not doing well back here. Anyways, I need to turn off my oven light. Has keto helped with my thyroid problems? I'm always gonna have thyroid problems no matter what I do. I have Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. My mom has it as well. It was an inherited disease. It's not going to go away. I'm basically treated like I don't have a thyroid. I take a T3 and a T4 um, pill every day since I was 16, so over the past 10 years. And I'm going to continue until I'm dead. Like, it is what it is. My thyroid problems are always going to be here. It's always something I'm going to have. What is it, Bo? What you doing down there? Are you angry I haven't given you food? A show called Scam City. I will write that down and I will check that out. Yeah, I mean, traveling, I've done a lot of traveling in my life. And so I do have a good understanding of what's safe and what's not safe. And never put yourself in a situation that um, could get you. Like, never put yourself in a position that is at a predisposition to be taken advantage of if you're not in the US. But in the US, US is unsafe. Other countries tell you not to visit the US, so you know. There's always a risk anywhere you go. It is 2.54 a.m. That's early, you need to go get some sleep. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Let me think. I need a I don't know where the plastic Tupperware I'm looking for is. Oh, I think it's in the fridge. I think I have food in it. Darn it. Because I need to put this away. This sausage is really good. I'm going to eat it for breakfast tomorrow. Highly recommend the sausage recipe. I was not lost in Portugal. My grandmother thought I was lost in Portugal, mother. My grandmother wandered off. I was safe with my gymnastics coach in Portugal. But my grandmother wandered away and then assumed that I was taken. <laughs> Let me see. I need something to put this in. I really need to organize my Tupperware down here. Oh my golly. Okay, so my mom, y'all are asking about the Portugal thing. My mom said that I got lost in Portugal when I was eight. So I went to Portugal with my gymnastics coach and my grandmother. I was there going to the U.S. Gymnastrada in Lisbon, Portugal. Um, we were representing the U.S. doing some sort of gymnastics thing. But I was there with my gymnastics coach and my grandmother. So we were out doing something in Portugal, I think, eating or doing something. I was with my gymnastics coach and my grandmother, I think she went to the Hard Rock Cafe or something like that. I was still with my gymnastics coach, but there was like a mix up or a confusion of where we were gonna meet. And 
I was safe every moment. I was with my gymnastics coach, but we got separated. This was the time before like cell phones were worked internationally. So we didn't really have a way to get in touch with each other. So my grandmother panicked. Um, meanwhile, I was safe. Me and my coach didn't know where my grandmother went. And um, yeah, my grandmother called my mom, told her that she lost me in Portugal. She went to the police station, uh, filed like a missing person report. Um, and me and my coach just sat there in front of like the Hard Rock Cafe for like two hours wondering where my grandmother was. She finally showed up with the police and we were just sitting there. I was okay. It was just a miscommunication. But I survived. All is well in the world. I mean, I moved to Australia when I was in college. I didn't know anyone. I moved to a continent thousands of miles away from home and knew zero people. Zero. I flew there. And I was a study abroad student. Uh, on the plane, I was on the plane with like 20 other study abroad students. Little did I know, I was the only study abroad student at the agriculture campus. At the agriculture campus. Two hours away from the city. Like they were loading all of the other kids onto a bus and then they were like, hey Catherine, go get in this car. You're the only one. So my little butt was all alone in uh, Australia by myself. I survived. I look back at some of the things I did, like getting in people's cars. I was good. I trusted people <laughs> and I survived and I had a blast. I traveled all over Australia by myself. I got on a sailboat. Sailed all over the Whit Sundays. I stayed in Melbourne by myself. I traveled all over the Australia by myself. So yeah. Here's that. Yeah, I'm not giving out my cell phone number. I don't text back my friends, much less someone I don't know. I get too many messages and I get anxiety about all those messages. So then I pretend like they're not there. It's not a good thing. <laughs> Do I like Topo Chico? I love Topo Chico. I'll add like some lime juice in it and a little squirt of stevia. And um, it's so good. I don't like it by itself. I'm not a big fan of like the carbonated water by itself, but add a little bit to it. And it's kind of like a sparkling limeade. It's so good. Because I really love like the, the diet cherry limeades from Sonic. So good. So good. But the Topo Chico, you just add some lime and it kind of tastes like a lime limeade. Yeah, Topo Chico is very much a Texas thing. I know it's other places, but it's like the holy grail in Texas. My top is from a company called Monsta Fishing. M-O-N-S-T-A Fishing. <laughs> it's a local company I ordered it from. All right, any last minute pressing questions? I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up because I have been on here for two hours. Oh my golly, that's a long time. It's a long time. And hot pink is my favorite color. I love hot pink. I got this in hot pink and I have a hoodie from the same company in hot pink. Pink is my favorite color. I love pink. How is Michael doing? Michael has adjusted well to doing the COVID uh, guidelines, like he's done well wearing his mask and all of that. So we've been proud of him. Um, yeah, I did competitive dance for years. I did gymnastics for like 12 years. I did dance for like 12 or 13 years. 
I did it all. I did. But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this up. My voice is starting to go out. I never talk this much. I am not a talker. So to sit here and ramble on for two hours, my voice is going to be gone tomorrow. <laughs> But yeah, this jacket is so cute. Thank you for noticing. Thank you, Mom, for sharing the information that I miss in some of these comments. But y'all have to let me know. Do y'all like when I do these live videos? This one is definitely more of a chit-chat, ramble on. There's, more, there's some where I could definitely sit here and cook and chat but i've just done a lot of chatting in this in this video today do i miss alabama i loved when i lived in alabama i had a great time i have nothing bad to say about alabama but i do love the fact that i'm also back at home now i i can't complain um yeah i've lived in dallas i've lived in alabama and now we're here. So we've moved every year for the past three years. And I'm kind of excited to stay put somewhere for more than a year now. Because <laughs> moving is awful. It's awful. Do I want a farm? Yes. I want all the farm animals. I want horses. I want cows. I want goats. I want llamas. I want alpacas. I want pigs. I want a farm. But animals are a lot of work. Do I get to see my comments after a live stream? I'm not sure if it keeps the comments or not. Yes, and I want a chicken coop. If I'm staying at this house for another year, I'm definitely building a chicken coop soon. And we're gonna have all kinds of chicken content. I'm so excited. I don't, I have not streamed on Twitch lately, but I am thinking about getting on Twitch and doing some live videos each week. Oh, the comments disappear after the live. I hate that. My mom does have chickens. I've, we've raised chickens at my parents' house for a long time. There's like one It's like a light in the tree that is blinking. I gotta go check that out. Hold on. Why is that blinking? What is going on over here? Okay. That freaked me out. There was like movement in the tree. I was like, why is there a light that's like moving? But it's apparently a tag. I never cut off the tree and it has a light reflecting off of it. So the tag was like slightly swaying and it looked like something was moving in there. I didn't like that. Earlier, there was a lizard on my wall. It's been an interesting day. All right, y'all. I've got to wrap this up. My voice is starting to hurt. I would love to stream on multiple platforms at one time. I'm still trying to figure out how to do it and I'm not sure if my country Wi-Fi will allow me to stream on multiple platforms at a time is my only issue. As I tried to stream on YouTube and Facebook, or no, I tried to stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time and one of the streams was blurry just because I don't have the fastest internet because I live in a rural area, which stinks. Whew. What's my name on Twitch? I think it's K Salome. So the first letter of my first name and then my last name. But yeah, I'm going to try and do live videos more often, maybe once or twice a month because it's just fun to get on here and chat. Kind of just ramble on. It's fun. I enjoy it. 
So I hope that you guys enjoyed tonight's live stream and my loaded sausages that I made, even though the loaded sausages are only a small part of this video. I enjoyed it. I had a blast and I hope that y'all did too. So your girl is going to get ready for bed, take these lashes off and be able to rub my eyes again. So yeah. I don't even know if my, I forgot my phone hasn't been plugged in. It's probably going to die soon anyways. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Love you all. You are the best in the entire world. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I love you all. There's you a heart. <laughs> all right, y'all. Have a great night. Have a very happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate it and yeah goodbye what did i just don't tell me i did that okay i didn't do it i thought i just stuck my hair in the grease on this pan it would be some that'd be very on brand it'd be very on brand can y'all hear how raspy my voice is starting to sound it is definitely sounding raspy okay i'm going i love you all Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <Mwah! laughs> I'm not a smoker. Never smoked anything in my entire life. I just don't talk this much ever. <laughs> Bye, y'all. I'm not in this thing. Here, let's look at Bo while I try and figure out how to turn this live stream off. Oh, yes, a snoring Bo. Look at that cute boy. Look at him while I try and end this live video. I don't know how to do this. Oh, how do I end? Bye, y'all.